Hey fam, once again, you're welcome. Welcome to yet another amazing and an awesome session. It's your friend and your sister, Dr. I will bring you a great word from the Lord. I want to thank all those that are checking in already to this particular session. I know you'll be wondering that, but all oh, things, uh, the start of April, you know, today we are, this is the 5th of April and the month has been advancing and so fast i know you're wondering but why is it that uh, it's today that i'm releasing this word but i just want you to know that i'm releasing this word for the month of april because uh, god kept putting it in my heart but i didn't understand it at the beginning but this evening he made things very clear to me you know he said i should tell somebody it is a season for extraordinary and you know you know when god gave me this scripture i don't know whether to say it if it is very it is specific or it's a general word and i don't really know who it belongs to but one thing i know is that a prophecy for one is a prophecy for all and when god is releasing a timely word for the season he just needs someone whose faith is very high who can click to the word and it will flow directly and God put, took me to the scripture, to the book of um, 1 Samuel chapter 23 from verse number 14. Now, you know, there is favor and there is what is called extraordinary favor. Those are two different things. It's normal for you to experience favor. Like you just meet people, they just love you. They love to work with you. They love to give you things. They love to share ideas and all of that. You're just favored in everything but the lord says this particular season an extraordinary release has taken place in the realm of the spirit now david is one of the people that function under this type of favor the bible talks about david in the book of first samuel chapter 23 verse number 16 it says saul had a son who was jonathan and normally jonathan had to, had to take over his father he was the heir to Saul's throne. But hear what Jonathan says. Jonathan told David in verse number 17. He says, don't be afraid. He said, my father Saul will not lay a hand on you. You shall be king over Israel and I will be second to you. David had such an extraordinary favor such that Jonathan gave him the best position that was meant for him and took the second position. This is the grace that is falling on somebody. So much extraordinary favor such that people will prefer to give you their best and be with something that is less than the best. And as you connect to this word, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. People will give you their best. When it comes to everything in your life this month of April, you will receive the best.